here from fishandmoney.com. We're going to show you how to tie another hook. You have got to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. For real. We're going to tie another hook today, okay? Now this one you're going to want to use if, uh, like, you may want to use this if you're tying on a, um, a hook and maybe you're going to use live bait. So you want that hook to be able to swivel very freely so that your live bait can move around a lot and attract other fish. Or let's say you're going to tie on a popper or something like that and you want to pull it through the water and you want it to have uh, f lots of free action, you need a, a loop knot. So we're going to tie a loop knot. First thing we're going to do is put the hook down. We don't need it yet. Tie, just tie a loop. Tie a, an overhand knot like you tie any knot right there. Got that? Tie an overhand knot about yay far from the tip of your line. Back that up. There you go. About yay far from the tip of that line. Tie a loop knot. Then put your hook on there. Okay. Once you get your hook on there, put that the end of that back through the loop. Now you got something that looks like that. Right there. And then once you get that, there's one more step. You gotta tie another overhand knot right here with the end. Okay, I'm gonna grab it with my teeth and pull that tight. Now once you get that tight, that knot's not gonna slip. Okay, and it's gonna hold on right there. And that's gonna allow your hook to swivel around a lot, have lots of extra play. And there you go, loop knot. Oh, one last thing. We gotta cut the tag, right? What do we cut it with? Our Raider lanyard. There you go. Go Raiders. And let's go catch us some striped bass with this big, that's a good looking setup, isn't it? Mm. Man, I wish I had me some shad and about a nine foot pole right there. Mm. There you go, guys. A loop knot for you. All right. Have a good one.